Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So Fox News hosts Maria Bartiromo, Fox Business, actually, and every leftist favorite Republican, Matt Gates, had a really, really interesting exchange on her show. And it basically all started with Bartiromo's incredibly weak opening monologue where she talks about how much she supports Kevin McCarthy and basically any other rhino that would fund the government through just another continuing resolution, the same old tired laid out can that we've been literally allowing these fools to kick down the road since the 1990s. And Gates wasn't having it, man. Obviously not a fan of doing the same old things and expecting a different result. Man is not crazy, apparently. But nothing ever happens. No real change is ever realized. And, and watching this, you know, it's just a perfect, watching these two people is a perfect example of the tired old establishment, which is Maria, and what I think we actually need, which is something new. And take a look at this, guys. But before we do, thanks to everyone that's been subscribing and leaving such great comments. Really, really appreciate the support. We're building an awesome community. If you haven't yet, please help us with the algorithm. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the single subject spending well, bills. It's the only way to break the fever and liberate ourselves from this out of control spending. Well, he's doing the four bills next week. So because we're, we're making him because we're making him doing it. So to push now to blow up all of the wins that you all have had now, which seems... wins? Please enumerate them. Well, OK, well, how about the fact that he has set up a weaponization committee to investigate the DOJ, whether they're involved in a cover up? That's how about process. the fact that he is. Hold on. Wait how about the fact that he. Hold on. How about the fact that he has set up the China Select Committee to keep China to account? And of course, he has launched this uh, inquiry into impeachment, potentially, for President Biden. Is that not what you want? None of those things are deliverables. Those are steps in a process. The, setting up a committee is an end unto itself only in Washington, D.C. The American people demand results. Hold on, I'll let you talk, okay, Maria. Go ahead, these, go ahead. Co these committees have done nothing to reduce inflation. They've done nothing to actually constrain the Biden government. We can set up committees and have hearings and yell at people, but at the end of the day, if we still send the check to fund a weaponized government, having a weaponization subcommittee is little relief to the American people. And if any of this was serious, we would be sending out subpoenas and compelling process the way the January 6th committee did. We should yeah. be operating like them. Instead, we're playing patty cake with the Bidens. We're allowing Actually, them to get away with it. And we're yeah. funding it. We're sending the money. If we were serious, use this, the power of the purse. This wow, man. So I really don't understand why the left hates this guy so much, except for the fact that they just literally hate whoever they're told to hate. Whatever direction they get wound up and pointed, that's the direction they go. I get all that. We're used to that. But, you know, look, no one wants the government to be shut down. But anyone who's paying any sort of real attention, they don't want the government to keep spending like it is either. And the crazy thing is every presidential election, both sides, they sound the exact same. They all talk about how they'll rein in runaway spending and tamp down on wasteful government, all this same old lip service, you know. They say it's not sustainable, and that is true. So why don't we ever do anything about it? Why don't we hold these people that tell us they'll do something about it accountable to do it? And why are we all programmed to kill the messenger anytime that anyone even suggests that now is the time to do it? Well, Matt Gates and the Freedom Caucus, they're basically the only ones even pretending to care. And their argument is simple, man. If not now, then when? How can you not agree with that? And how can you not resonate with that? You know, we, we can't keep kicking the can down the road. Eventually, we're going to run out of road. But anyway, guys, that's just my take. Let me know yours in the comments. If you haven't already, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.